Hello and thank you for taking a look at the program here. Just going to take you on a quick tour of how the program works and uh, just give you a quick tour of the program itself. Um, so when you first log in you will actually be at a screen like this here and you'll have a, um, the actual latest stats showing right here in this area. Um, you'll also have a few quick links right here where you can do different things to uh, manage your list or to create an email. Um, then you also have the main navigation right up top here. But the first thing you want to do when getting started is uh, create a contact list. So you just click up here, click on create a contact list, and now you just want to give it a name. And um, we just put your information right in there. The email will be already in there. Everything is already the way it should be. So now all you do is come down here and click Save. And it will actually create that new list for you. So now, now what you want to do is now that that new list is created, which is this one right here, the one I just created, now what you want to do is import contacts from file. So you do that on that second tab right here. And again, just click on import contacts from file. Select the list that you want to send to. And click next. And here is where you actually import the contacts and um, the only thing you need to do here is uh, check this box here if your file, Excel file contains headers and basically the headers are like just first name, last name, email um, and so on. So you would check that if you if, if your file contains headers and then you select your actual lead file. So you go to your desktop or wherever location um, we have your leads at and that's where you can um, actually select a file to upload so once you have it selected as you can see it's selected right there you click next and you just give it a minute now it's going to ask you to match the information so as you can see over here this is the information that the file has and you just ma uh, match it up this is the email address so you just come over here and select the email address this is the person's first name so you just come over here and select the first name this is the last name you come over here and just um, find the last name. Um, and I don't really usually put all the information in there just because it, you know, it actually uh, requires you to, you know, keep more data on the server. So I like to keep it at a minimum. So um, I usually just put the first name, last name, email, and the phone number. Um, but you can put it in there if you like but again I just usually keep it to a minimum and then once you have that just click next and click start importing and shortly it will begin to import uh, your leads into the list for you and just give it a few minutes and it'll It'll uh, load the full list for you. But since we're just doing a pre demo right now, I'm going to um, pause it here so it'll let it load. Okay, now the program has finished importing the contacts. As you can see, uh, 9,995 contacts were imported successfully. Um, Two were duplicate, so it'll take out all your duplicate emails. Uh, two contain bad data, so 
it goes through and makes sure um, you know everything's in order and that there are no duplicates. So now that um, we have the list in place, now we can create an email campaign. So what you want to do is click on the next tab up top and click on create an email campaign. Now we're just going to give it a name. And here you can actually um, select a few options. You can select no template, which is currently what's in place. Or you can select from the various templates that are built into the program here. So you can go through this list and find any type of template that you may want to use. There's a big, pretty big list of them here that are um, built right into the program. But for now, we're just going to use no template and click next. And here's where you will actually design your emails. Um, in this line here, you put your subject and here is where you will put your message. Um, you can actually do it two different ways. This is HTML and this is plain text version. You actually want to do them both because the software will actually deliver what the person will receive. Not everybody can receive HTML so it'll actually send them this version if they'd have that feature disabled on their email program. So what you want to do here is type in your message right here. And you can also add personal um, personalization tags right into the message. So just by putting this code right in there, it'll put the person's first name right in the actual message. Uh, there are a lot of different codes you can use based on what information you import into the program. But um, again, you can just do that by clicking right down here and then insert a custom field. And the other thing you want to make sure you include is an unsubscribe link. So at the bottom of your emails, just you click this button right here and click on insert unsubscribe link. And it automatically puts it right at the bottom. One other thing you always want to put to be in compliance with the uh, can spam laws, you want to put an actual physical address. Uh, it can be a PO box or it can be your regular address, but you want to make sure you put that at the bottom. And now what you want to do is you can actually use these same codes right here to put the person's first name in the actual subject line if you like. That'll get that'll actually increase your open rate by including the person's first name in the actual subject line. So if your leads come with the first name, make sure you include that and you'll get better open rates. So um just put your subject right in here and once you have your HTML message the way you want it you know you can increase the size, increase the color or change the color, increase the fonts do anything you want to the message here And um, once you have it the way you want it, just copy this message and paste it down here in the text version. And then just make any necessary changes to make sure it looks the way you want it. And once you have the HTML version and the text version, 
you can come down here where it says check your email for spam you click the button right here and it will let you know um, you know what what needs to be changed and um, you can do that just by looking at the program here it'll tell you and once you're ready to uh, save it or preview it you can actually do that right here just put your email address in here and then click preview and it'll actually send you a preview to your email address uh, now that we have the message completed what you want to do is click save and exit and as you can see right here this is the uh, email that you just created right here on the front line here now um, if you're ready to send it you just click on send and it's the next it's going to actually ask you what list you want to send to so on this screen right here we're just going to select that new list that we just created which had the 9,995 contacts um, and once you get your system set up if you have multiple lists you want to send to uh, you can also do that too by just selecting the various lists so um, in this case I'm just going to keep the one selected going to hit next and I'm going to hit next again and I'm going to click schedule my email campaign um, and usually within five to ten minutes it will actually start sending for you so once you click that it will actually start in the next few minutes and um, it'll, you'll actually receive an email letting you know that the campaign has started and um, that's pretty much it for that part um, there's also autoresponders in the program you can create an autoresponder just like you just created an email you would just select the list that you want to create the autoresponder for give the autoresponder a name and then proceed with designing your email just like we just did a minute ago uh, the next tab here is the statistics I'm gonna click email campaign statistics um, once you have a campaign that you've actually sent to it'll show up right here uh, so you just want to click view over here it will give you a, a chart of um, people that actually bounce the, either the emails were no good or the people that actually open the emails all that will be able to uh, view right here it also shows you the start time the finish time how long it took to actually send out that many emails um, it also gives you the open stats how many people actually open it gives you their actual email address the time they opened it, what form of email they opened, whether it was the HTML version or the plain text, it'll show you that right there. Um, also, it shows you the link stats. It shows you how many people actually clicked on your link, what domain they clicked on, what time they clicked on it. Um, the next tab shows you the bounce statistics. Now, there's two types of bounces. Uh, the first bounce is a hard bounce which the program shows you a hard bounce is a email address that doesn't exist anymore and a soft bounce is an email that bounced because of the person's um, either mailbox is full or it was blocked due to content um, it also shows you the unsubscribe stats so you can see who actually unsubscribed for you from your list um, throughout the uh, the different campaigns but that's basically the program if you have any other questions please be sure to ask us